Well, hello and welcome to another Caddo at the Chateau. Today we're in Bon Maman, uh, and that is uh, where I'm currently sleeping, at the Chateau de la Lande. Um, and I am not Stephanie Jarvis. Stephanie Jarvis <laughs> is actually behind the camera today for a change. Um, I think you're doing a great job as me, Michael. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, Stephanie, you might as well just leave. Um, <laughs> You've got your gifts. I've got your, you've got your gifts, Stephanie. <laughs> Disappear. Uh, no, but I, I heard a rumour that there are quite a lot of presents. They've been piling up for the last eight months. So and many gifts for you. Yes, and it's about time that I uh, opened them. Yes, and um, we can't wait to see what's inside them. I'm not good with wrapped <laughs> gifts that can't be opened. <laughs> Waiting. <laughs> Patience is a problem. This well, is a virtue. We'll just hope that it, there was nothing with a sell-by date because <laughs> yes. they have spoiled in the last eight months. Um, right, we're going to have uh, a good rootle through your gifts and... Brunch. Yeah, brunch, because Philip has set up this mm. table. I mean, Philip. Philip. You've, you've outdone yourself, you've outdone as yourself always. Once again. <laughs> always, always. I must say. Um, and, you know, it's never just on any old porcelain, is it? Oh, mm. no. This porcelain... Especially old porcelain. <laughs> <laughs> I believe some of it may have come from the Ritz in Paris. Yes. <gasps> That's the so true, plates. and I didn't realise you'd use those plates. Yes. Oh, yes, it did the plates. Do you, do you want to show, show a quick plate? Oh. So when the Ritz did their big redo, some of the plates got sold, and Philip found these on eBay recently. There you go. Exhibit A. <laughs> and what was interesting is that Philip had already bought this tea service. I spilled a little bit. Maybe. Which is Haviland. And obviously the Ritz asked Haviland, who also made theirs, to make a simpler version for the catering. Yeah. Because your version is uh, more delicate with, with the lattice, test, yes. really pretty. But they go together really nicely. Yeah. So I got totally distracted by porcelain. Okay. That's what happens when <laughs> Philip and I get together. Michael, mm. I'm going to bring you a present. Oh, do hurry up, Stephanie. <laughs> it's been eight months. I've been waiting. <laughs> What's the first present on the, um, I, on okay, the, on the list? The first one, I've been dying for you to open this just because I think it's the most beautiful box that we've ever received a gift in. Isn't that just... I mean, I think the box is the gift in itself. Did she make it herself? And it's from Debbie Walker. Oh, Debbie Walker sent us amazing gifts. Should we have a look at what's inside? Yes. Please. <laughs> I mean, look at the box. About, you have to put that in the cottage. It is a gorgeous box. That definitely it will be being kept. Oh, look at the lid. It's You've like got a little, a little bum, bum. fluffy thing on the lid. It almost looks like a shaving brush. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's like a little bolero. Is that what you call them? Uh, bolero, to me, is a short jacket. I'm sure that's what they call the men's book. shaving brushes. Really? Maybe this? Or something, Could be. something like that. You're the one who's just spent two months in Madrid, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Oh. 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 Big excitement. Big, Big excitement. I think it might it be. Maybe a full set be. of napkins. <laughs> let's have a look. I, I think they've all collapsed down one side. Let's, let's try and take, take them out in one go. Are you ready? <gasps> oh, oh, there you go. Oh, is that an artichoke? I think I saw a globe artichoke. Yes, you may have just seen an I artichoke, did. yes. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. Imprints. So oh, the colours. I believe they're all the same. They may not be. Uh, oh, that's a mushroom, isn't it? Was it garlic? No. No, 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 no. Squirrel. What? Oh. Squirrel. You're joking. Squirrel. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> He's a little squirrel on there. Let's open. Let's put them. Let's put them back in. And because I think they're all the same, so we can open the one up and have a little look. Is that? Well, that's a lettuce or a cabbage. It is. Cabbage. Where's the squirrel? I can't see the squirrel. Ah, uh, so they are different. Oh no, this is. It's, oh, it's a, porcelain. It's a porcelain. Oh. Oh. Oh wow. Yes, wow. Oh, they are stunning. Oh, fabric. They are they really stunning. for me? Yes, they're definitely really for you. <gasps> oh, wow. They're We're going to have gorgeous. to open another one because I want to see the squirrel. The sheen is nice. It's a lovely fabric. Feel that. Yeah. It's almost... Um, have you seen, like, in the white itself, there's another pattern? Yeah, sort of brocade, a background brocade pattern. I think it's a um, like a damask. Yes. So you've got different... Maybe That's the word I was like looking a, for, damask. You've got, like, a cotton and maybe um, something else. Oh, we've got a squirrel. You found him. We've got a squirrel. Oh. oh, and he's got little acorns. Oh, and a little frog. A rabbit. Oh, look, a little frog. Also, rabbit. 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 Hold it up, Philip. There we go. <laughs> that butterfly. Is, that asparagus. Abs it's an asparagus plate. All of its plates. Like an asparagus holder. So it's all porcelain. 
vegetable porcelain. I love this. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I'm telling you, Debbie sent us such beautiful things. Can I just say She Debbie, sent me the Christian Dior nightgown, which I wear all the time now. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. She's so generous. They are stunning. Mm. I am so pleased with those. They are perfect for the gardener's cottage. And the box. And the box. Yeah. And they can live in the box. Yeah, that's a good idea. Will they go well in the kitchen? Yeah, I think they will. Good. I think they'll be absolutely perfect. Because I'm going to paint the kitchen green. Nice. And are we going to be invited around to say a little dinner? For Philip to be able to enjoy a good squirrel oh, napkin? Yes. I think that is essential. Yeah, a squirrel yes. napkin and I'll cook you something in the arga. Oh. And I'll fire it up. <laughs> it's been off actually for the last two months. I obviously let it go out. I'm not, mm. No point of wasting yes. all that fuel while I'm not okay, there. I think so. we, we need a little trip to Bamini. Yeah. When I'm back, I'll fire it up and I'll cook you something nice. Are you ready for present number two? I'm ready. I'm ready. More than ready. Before I have my coffee, can I just ask you what this is? So when we were in Nihak, when we were all down in is that where you got your, near Bordeaux. Your vaccine? Yes. Yeah. Uh, How are you feeling from your vaccine, by the way? I didn't have any reactions. You lot all got really sore arms more than yeah. me. I got a like a bit of bruising. That well, like someone it. had just given you a little... Yeah. 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 But I think it's after the second one, apparently, people feel ready. So you're fine. But we're okay. And she hasn't been acting strange. Just her usual self. No <laughs> <laughs> stranger than usual. But there was this lovely Italian market when yeah. we were there. And this is ginger and apple jam. And we've got fig jam. And these two are wild garlic sauces. Oh. One with sun dried tomatoes and one with olives, which I thought we could have with bread. And I, oh. I especially for you, went to the boulangerie and got the bread and the brioche. For me? Yes. You because the prodigal friend has returned. Mm, I'm back. <laughs> so, next present. Oh, oh next gift. So, I'll just be getting on with a cup of tea uh, whilst yeah, you open just up. Just have some coffee quickly. When this one came, um, it was really semi-open. Okay. So you can see that it's silverware, and I have been dying to find out exactly <laughs> what it is. Oh, so, like here you go. master hasn't been able to look at this. Right, let's have a look at this. First of all, we need to see who it's from. It doesn't say. It doesn't mm. say who it's from. So sometimes when it came in a bag with gifts for mm -hmm. all of us, we thanked the person and then put the gift for you aside and mm -hmm. forgot to write the name. But I must say, whoever it is has got lovely handwriting. <laughs> um, and I like this, it's very Burberry. Oh, yes it is. Would Shall I like open this side for me? Open this side for me. Let's have a look. It's clearly a two-person job. Of course it is. It's just the three of us today. Uh, Selma is away. Uh, for the weekend, I think at the seaside, isn't he? Yes, he is. Uh, Natty's also away. Natty's just gone to the there. seaside. Yes, she just left today. She's gone to the south of France for a whole week, and we're pretty worried as to what state the chef what is going to do? be in. I don't know. <laughs> I told her she'll come back to find a pile it's of raw. Code red. Oh, what's this? Oh, first of all, is that for olives? Maybe. Oh, hang on. I it's... wonder if this is from the person who sent us all the beautiful silverware. Can I, can I just say, this is solid silver. No. This is ster wet sterling silver. <gasps> so it's 90... 95 or 90... Ooh. Is it 95 or 92? I'm just carrying on opening this for you. This is stunning. Okay, I won't unwrap from it. From 1919. The year 1919. I am so envious. So it's 102 years old. Would you call that a sugar sifter? Or I'm not sure if it's for, for sugar. It's quite big. I'd probably use it for olives. That's probably what it's I for. I would say olives too. I don't getting know, little, but getting little beans silver skin out pickled vinegar. onions out of, out of and look, jars. I'd already removed the pickled onions for oh, you. Oh, well, we didn't we need to. Pickled onions for later. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's going to be a lot of oohing and ahhing because this is just so gorgeous. We received some beautiful silver as well. Do you see our bread knife, which mm -hmm. I use all the time? That's Tiffany, and that was a gift from Caddo at the Chateau. Tiffany. Yes. No. And this one was from the same man who sent the Tiffany one. And this is an American pattern. Mm -hmm. It's Stief. Mm -hmm. And it's called, I think, Roses, or I can't remember the name. I'd looked it up. And it's a very famous pattern in America. And I think it's one of the most beautiful I have ever seen. So it's Tiffany Sterling Silver, made in Italy in 1984. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Michael, not again. We've talked about this. Put it back on the table. Put what on the table? That girl, butter knife. <laughs> and the uh, uh, that is very nice. That's very beautiful. Also, oh, so, and the teaspoons. The teaspoons are the coronation anointing spoons. Yes. Are they? Yes, the coronation anointing spoon, and these are replicas of them. Also a gift. Oh, they're great, aren't they? I thought you'd like that. Oh, I really like these. 
And they're sterling as well. Talking about gifts, the onions are also good. Yes, the onions too. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, sterling that. handle. That is beautiful. 1919. Um, and th so this is stainless, silver plated stainless yes. steel, and this is a solid oh, silver handle. And that's so useful. That is really, so you could cut and pick up mm, slices of cake mm, with that. You can. Um, and the fork is absolutely stunning. Um, it's also part of a set, so it's the same sterling silver pattern 1919. That's lovely. I don't think that, I mean, other than Philip, this could I'm have gone sure. to anyone who would love it more. <laughs> The spoon is absolutely beautiful. Sterling. I really enjoy looking them all up. But I can't. Me too. I don't. I'm not sure if the spoon is part of the same set, but it's beautiful anyway. Yes. Did you get a close up of this one? I didn't get because of any of them. Look at that! Isn't that spectacular? I have a little book of British silver marks somewhere. I need to unearth it so that we can look up everything on the back here. Do you know what? Apparently, it's really good for your health to eat. With, obviously, it's quite expensive, but it's currently it's really good for your health to eat from solid silver cutlery, um, purely because the, um, obviously as you put that in mm. your mouth, microscopic particles of silver, mm. which is really, really beneficial for, for your health, um, because um, uh, it's, it's very antibacterial. Silver is extremely antibacterial naturally, and it, but it only targets bad bacteria. So oh. the silver does not kill like, beneficial bacteria. It's only, it only sort of kills bad bacteria, I don't know. So apparently that's why, um, well. People, um, you know, you see like the royal family and things, you know, they all live to well over 100. Obviously, they have easy lives. It's the things. cutlery. Well, that's our experience. No, but that is, it, it, it could be just a lot of things to put together. Yeah. Obviously, good, yes. good health care and obviously, yes. but, but the silver, apparently, it um, stops you getting sick. Mm. Okay. That's why you would go, so that's why um, years ago, um, if you had the money, you would your baby would have like a, a solid silver dummy or something. Or, or I had I had plated on. silver. I found all the plated silver that I received. Yeah. Well, all there's three boxes, and one's really sweet. It's just a knife, a fork, and a spoon. And mm -hmm. apparently, uh, children were given that because they would take it to boarding school with them. I've got, oh, really? I never went to boarding school. I yeah. don't think I've ever used it, but I have that. And I have this really darling little silver cup and spoon for feeding babies. Oh. So I literally had a silver spoon. My mother doesn't strike me as the sort of woman who ever used it with me, though. I think no. she probably just put it in a cupboard, mm. yeah. safest place for it, yeah. and gave me something plastic. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm actually... I, but I, um, I always wanted just, like, some... Some cutlery, but not a set, mm. just some odd pieces that I could just day-to-day -day eat with yeah. silver just to see if it has any benefit, you know? Mm. Well. So there you go. I'm going to eat, eat, eat my dinner with this today. <laughs> Let us know how you're feeling at the end. I'm sure this isn't, it's not going to work that fast. <laughs> I really want to say thank you because these are absolutely stunning and they will go um, into the gardener's cottage um, where they um, will, will live happily ever after and they'll get used. <laughs> Oh, we seem to have ruined the beautiful table setting. Yeah, we, we <laughs> had eating. a little pause mm. where we basically went into a feeding frenzy. Yes. Yeah, and then what happened is I've dropped this, <laughs> what can only be described as chilli <laughs> sauce, Satan's oil. everywhere. <laughs> It's all in the, um, the the upholstery fabric. It's all over your upholstery, but more importantly, it, and it is went, in your esophagus. It went down my esophagus. <laughs> more importantly. And it was very spicy. And I like a bit of spice, but spice in the wrong place. It caused yes. a few problems. So we had to take a little pause for Michael to pull himself together. <clears throat> Okay. Still there, it's still All there. All good. I mean, the upholstery fabric won't recover, but hopefully Michael will. <laughs> <laughs> Tablecloth's ruined. Yes. Good and the though. napkin. Got to say, it was delicious. It was delicious until it went down my um, windpipe. Luckily, we weren't using your new napkins. No. Mm, oh, no, you made sure of that, didn't you? Mm. We we're eating those with very bland things like bread <laughs> and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and water. Well, them in saran wrap. Like, before you yeah. use it. I'm not sure you deserve another gift. But it's go on then, me, me, go me on. At the minute. It's an for you. I'll open the next one, yes. Michael has insisted that we brought some of the Lalande ones. For Michael, with love. Is it Marie Hoffman? Yes. Or, or Manny Hoffman? Marie. I can't read that as an end. So, so with love, Marie Hoffman. Ah, oh, so sweet. Thanks, Marie. Let's just check I've got no ch chilli sauce <laughs> on my hands. It's very... You feel something soft it's in It's insidious. There. Persistent. It's very persistent chilli. <laughs> I hope I haven't sat in it. You probably <laughs> have. My, my beige trousers. <laughs> oh, is, is it a frame or is it a book? I can't tell at the minute. I don't think anyone would wrap a book in bubble wrap. 
I could be Good wrong. Point. That's lovely. Maria Virgo. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm a bit worried because it's covered in tape. Should I take it off? Or maybe it's been put on to protect it? Oh, yes, yeah, it's so. been put on to protect it. it. That's a good idea. That is mm. a really good idea, actually. Let me take it off first because... Oh, what I can see is extremely pretty. It's a really religious oh, iconography. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. It's the Virgin Mary. It reminds me a lot of the William Morris Ooh, um, yeah. letter that you did. I don't know why, because obviously that's figurative, and you did that beautiful S, but it's just that sort of pre raphaelite feel. It's inspired yes. by the, um, the Middle Ages mm. sort of artwork, really yes. gothic, you know? Mm. I'm just trying to get the tape off. It's a beautiful print of um, the Virgin Mary um, from 1863. So it's Gothic Revival, actually. Mm. It is Gothic Revival. It's and it's me. printed in mm. England. Oh, my goodness, uh, yes. Our chapel was consecrated 1866. Yes. So it's WJS London. Let's have a look. That is beautiful. Santa Maria. Virgo. Maria Virgo. Yes. Virgin Mary. Yeah. I love the background. Did you look at it closely? No, I haven't. Okay, you have to look at the background. Let me see. Oh, it's extraordinary. Oh, I didn't realise. It's all... Um, sort of embossed almost. Mm. It's beautiful. It's like um, like an old Gothic revival wallpaper almost. Mm. That's really nice. It's just a really lovely print. There you go. Just say the name of the person. Just say the name of the artist, but maybe is it an? In, would you say that's an engraving or is that a drawing? It's an engraving, isn't engraving. it? Engraving. It's an engraving. So they would. I it's engraved so. into a copper plate, which is then used to print and printed. Yeah. So what like, work? Like hundreds, like thousands of little, very microscopic grooves and scratches in the metal, which actually creates a picture once it's printed. It's unimaginable work. Well, it's it's going to go in the cottage. Yeah, it's, it's going beautiful. To go on the wall, because um, I need paintings and pictures and frames and things and it's nice and actually it just does it say it was framed in 1956 wow oh, is this 56 on the back why else would they put 56 yeah it must have been that was the price well that is absolutely beautiful i'm going to treasure that so thank you so much next present here you go steph one well, for you look oh, at that no look i'm amazed i get to open one on michael day you sure it's not michael day it's always Michael Day when you're here, Michael. You know that. La Londa, isn't it? Here we have a note. Dear Stephanie, wishing you and everyone at the Chateau greetings. I'm writing to tell you just how happy I was when I finally saw the silver tiara I sent to you on your head. I've been waiting six months for it to show up. I had no idea the mail would be so slow or perhaps it was lost in the room with all your gifts. It wasn't lost. It's just that we open the gifts in the order in which they arrive and we can only open about 10 gifts per week and that means that we fall behind. I would watch every Monday with a friend as we made it Monday night dinner and vlog. I saw you with it on your head, even though you'd not opened it yet on the gift vlog. My friend and I were so excited since she was the only other person who had seen it and I allowed her to try it on. I thought for sure it was lost in transit or perhaps being melted down for scrap by some porch pirate who ran off with your package. <laughs> and porch pirate. I love that. Porch pirate's a good one. <laughs> and seeing you with the watercolour I sent was also special for me. Now that you're doing the advent vlogs, I get the pleasure of seeing you and the tiara every day. Thank you for using it. And I must say the pictures of the chateau with snow are the most beautiful pictures I think I've ever seen of your home. Makes me want to come and stay as a guest even more. And someday I will. I think that they were almost all taken by Michael Potts. He really took beautiful photos of the chateau. So here I am again sending you another package. I've made you some pillows from Fortuny Fabric. Are you joking? Do not open them anywhere, <laughs> anywhere near no, this table. I will not. Step will away not. from the table. I will. I know one of your favourites and mine. It reminds me of the many trips I've taken to Venice. I've also sent you some trims that I held on to, hoping someday to find them a home. I think you can use them before I will, so enjoy. Perhaps this winter you can use them as you fight the cold long days in France. Well, again, we're so late in opening your gift that it is now spring, but... 
there's always use for trims in this in this chateau and in fact we're hoping to make the fabric cupboard up in the new storage area in the attic mm. this week i'm very excited about that because wow. i bought a big wardrobe and i'm going to be sorting everything out sarah also loves fabrics mm -hmm. and so she's asked if she can help organize the fabric cupboard with me i think we're gonna have a lot of fun Thank you again. I love watching you and allowing your happiness to light up my life. I wish you and all the people in the chateau a wonderful Christmas and happy new year. Well, your wishes worked from a distance, even though we hadn't received them. A better, safer year so we can all travel again. James. Thank you so much, James. And I cannot wait to see this far, far from Michael Petrick. I'm going to do that here. I love I, I, the fabric. I already love it. Already love it. I oh, already. and the trims are gorgeous, but I'm diving into the cushions. And look at the way it's made with a border. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh my goodness. It's stunning. Is it, um, is it a vintage Fortuny fabric or do they still make it? They still make Fortuny fabric. No. Yes, yes, Fortuny is still uh, very much alive and well not the man himself, the brand. And they contacted me actually after I made the vlog about Fortuny and invited me to go to their showroom in Venice uh, for a private tour, which I will definitely do. But of course I haven't been able to get to Venice. So well, we there might will be, able be to more. Go quite soon, actually. I think so, so now. Again, yeah. Let's just wrap it around a pillow, it's this size, so that we can see oh, what it's going wow. to look like. I can't wow. Get over how beautiful that is. And I'll put the other one on the other side. And I'm going to order. And it's different. It's different. Is it different on both sides or just one side? Yes. Different again at the back. Oh, so it's even. So there's four designs. I think these are the fronts and the backs are similar. Yeah, the backs oh, are pretty much the wow. same. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, they're sumptuous. Well, you can leave those in here. Absolutely not, I've seen what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at this, look, 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 look at this. Maybe this one goes this way around, actually. This is what I've managed okay. to do. Yes. <laughs> to Stephanie's upholstery fabric, so we're gonna have to try and get that well, off. We've got a spot cleaner, it'll be fine. We'll research we'll, it. We'll maybe. work it we'll out. out. You'd have been fine, except that it doesn't matter that you showed the world. You've just shown my mother. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Cut it out, Steph. Well, it was nice Note. to have known you. <laughs> yeah, lovely to have known you. Note to editor Steph. Cut that out. <laughs> Ooh, that's Look. really oh, nice. Oh, the, the oak colour. leaves. That's very arts and crafts. And the colour. I love the colour. That is absolutely stunning. And there's a lot of that. And this very delicate one, which would be perfect. Oh, that's use beautiful. Edge and cushion. <gasps> oh, that's lovely. I really like that one. And still a couple more in there. Oh, and this one. Yes. Oh, no, look at that's that. Nice. That's nice. Ooh, yes, I like it. So how does that... Yeah, look. So it's just like a pre-made piping. Oh, I like that. Yes, that's like very useful for cushions. And one final one here. Oh, that's lovely. Tassels. The wooden, wooden. Tassels. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I like those. That's nice. Would you use that on a um, curtain? Or you wouldn't put it on a cushion, would you? Or you could put it on whatever you want, I suppose. I actually really like It's quite arts and crafts. Again, this one. Mm. Almost a bit gothic revival because of the shape it creates. Mm. Mm. Shape, yeah. Yeah, it does. I like it very much. James, thank you so much. I love the silver tiara that you sent. And I love all of this, but especially the cushions. I don't know where to put them now. Far from Michael, but other than that, I have <laughs> narrowed down a spot. I love them. Thank you so, 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 so much. A slim one here. Oh, rather slim one. For Michael Petrick to open. Stephanie Jarvis from MP to open, M. Petrick to open. Do you realise what it's been like for me seeing all of these gifts? <laughs> could be unwrapped. Them, no, could I couldn't. Them? That'd be wrong. Mm. Oh, oh, that's lovely. What is it? Somebody's painted me a little mouse from Beatrice <gasps> Potter. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, it is adorable. So 
Little broom. <laughs> Dust bag. This hunker monker came to clean your little cottage maid. Well, could hunker monker come and clean this chateau as well? <laughs> she might be here a few months. It's a little mouse. It's got a big chateau. Oh. All my love. Jackie Sharples, take care. That is lovely. I really like that. Oh, That's really it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I the colours as well. I love cute. it. Little, little, little whiskers, look. It's got a little broom. Jackie is darling. Thank it's so really much. darling. And I Jackie Sharples and I have the same initials, only the other way around. Oh. I just noticed she has SJ at the bottom of that. Oh, yeah. JS, SJ? Yes. So is Hunker Monk an actual Beatrix Potter yeah, yeah. figure? Yeah, Hunker Monk was one of the little mice that, um... The Hunker Monk, I thought Hunker Monk was a naughty mouse. Well, it could oh. be a naughty mouse. Oh, no, there was the two the naughty, naughty mouse yeah. mice that ruined the doll's house, but then the Hunker Monk might have been a good one. They cleaned it up? Mm. Hmm. I don't remember, actually. I'd... I only had two Beatrix Potter books growing up. I'm going to put that with the rest. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jackie. That's going to go with the rest. She's adorable. Okay, you two men, you just rest. Don't you worry, I'll carry this heavy parcel. Okay, you so chose this that's, one. <laughs> that's to um, the Chateau de Lalande. Okay. So I thought that you could open that sure. instead of me. Well, you've been carrying the Chateau for 15 years. I'm sure you can carry a box. <laughs> <laughs> You're carrying Chateau Diaries. <laughs> <laughs> Nadia Lewis. Let's see. Very nice, very nice. Oh, there's lots box, of things in there. The box, yeah, this is a two-man job. Ooh. Is there a note first? No. No note? I don't think so. Surely that must be for me. It's got Peter Rabbit on it. <laughs> oh, maybe it is for you. I don't know. The Opera Lover's Cookbook. What? It's the Antiquarian sticker book. What? Okay, open that. What, what do you mean a sticker Stickers. book? That's what it says. Oh. Maybe to put stickers in. What is it? Oh, it's actual oh stickers. there are stickers! I've never seen such a beautiful sticker book. How is it possible that there could be on this planet? <laughs> what, what's happening here? It's you and Michael Pethrick. Look at that. Opening gifts together. I do look good in green. And I think he's just lighting his candle with his candle. <laughs> Reminds me of Rent, the musical. What? This book is I really incredible. like that. <laughs> Baby coming from an egg. Mm -hmm. I just That's want to look at kinda, every single thing. They kind of do, page. right? Oh, well, yeah, they do, yeah, in a roundabout kind of way. Oh, she seems like she's having it all. This is oh. so good. What? Oh, no, the, the He's always mice, looking for but... squirrels or mice or hedgehogs. It's a constant life search. Mm. I'm loving this book, but it's such a beautiful book that I don't want to take any of the stickers out of Why it. Why would you? You wouldn't. We wouldn't take them out, would you? You'd leave them in there. What did you take the stickers and then put them? Stick them on things. Oh, yeah, on, on letters. You know, imagine know, that. Imagine but... opening that book and then finding no stickers in it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's stuck them to their bedroom wall or something. I oh, the crown. The crown is great. The penguins. Yeah, the penguins. The are crocodile. Everything. I rather like her actually. Having a nice meal. Oh, yes, the crocodiles. That's an unfortunate situation that man's found himself in. Oh, they are fantastic. <gasps> a mouse. Finally. Good. Maybe that's one of the naughty mice. Oh, we should keep these for Marie, for yes. uh, Santa Lucia. Okay, I could look at this for hours, <laughs> but it's a big book, and we will be doing this for a long time if we don't stop now. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that one. Yeah. I just can't get over it. Got everything. We've got seashells, you know, mycology, everything. Who I think would love this book. Me. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Natty. Oh, she will love it. Should we put it on her desk when she goes back? Yes, definitely. I love it. Love it, love it, love yeah. it. And There's over a thousand stickers in that. Oh. What's well, this, it says on the... On 999 that? wouldn't be enough. No. <laughs> over 1,000. Peel and decorate or browse and feast on the beauty of this lush sticker book. Unlike any other, this treasure trove of, of authentic historical prints from around the ornate Victorian era can be used to embellish stationery and wrapping, create an exquisite collage, or adorn your coffee table or decorative shelf. I have to say wrapping. Homemade Christmas cards. I'm mm. have to, uh, well, I was thinking the Christmas gifts, like a Victorian Christmas. What are you doing? Are oh, you decided that the Peter Rabbit one's for you? No, I'm just opening it to hand it to Philip so that he can tell you. <laughs> Here you go, Philip. Thank you very much. 
Uh, this one. Oh, look, he's not going to look at Peter Rabbit yet. He's looking at the Opera Lover's cookbook. Exactly. That looks Menus fantastic. for elegant entertaining. This is what we need in our life. Forward by Rene Fleming. I actually kind of like the porcelain they've used. Well, let's look at some of the recipes and why. So what's inspired the recipes? That's what I want to know. Bel Canto five-course dinner. Tapas party with Carmen. <laughs> I like that. A taste of puccini. puccini. Vodka tasting with Russian composers. <laughs> now that's a night we could do. Very Gershwin. All-American brunch. Which one do you want to see? I think I would like to look at... Shall we look at the tapas party with Carmen? Yes, Page sure. 32. This is such a fantastic idea for a book. So you have to have, of course, Spanish sherry, Spanish wine, mm. and the tapas are... Chorizo and potatoes, saffron, garlic, shrimp, melted manchego with spicy sweet tomato jam. Well, we know what Michael Petherick would do with that. Spicy sweet tomato <sighs> jam. Don't we, Michael Petherick? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Get it all over the floor, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Down the back of my um, esophagus. Right, this, this looks like the finest, most fun Ooh, evening that we could arrange. Should we do one one night? Yeah, sure, Just why not? choose one of these and do an evening from it. Yeah, sounds good. I love the idea of that. Is this still the tapas? The, the, the... That's still common, yes. yeah. It's still the tapas. Do they have um, patatas bravas or whatever? Is that oh, I love use... patatas bravas. Yeah, you used to have that, used to have that with tapas. Oh, I know. Do you know what I really quite like? I do the grilled octopus. Ah, oh, delicious. Did oh, you have loads of that. tapas? Yeah, of course. In I Madrid? Have. Lots of tapas, yes. I'm so jealous. And the um, serrano, is it serrano ham? Yes. Come on. Mm. Yes. Or no, Iberian. Ah, uh, yes. Iberico. Ah, uh, Iberico. Ah, oh, yeah. so expensive. Yeah. We had a platter and they, they cut different pieces of meat from different parts of the leg. And so one area is sweet, one's drier, one's more um, buttery, like oh. so good. So good. Okay, we are jumping on a plane to Madrid. Mm. Sure. It's, the apparently, it's, it's a real. Right. It's a real oh yes, art, octopus it? with potatoes. Oh, I love it. That's what I had. That. Well, why don't we do that? Grilled octopus with potatoes. Let's do that one night. Mm. It's like the purpley octopus. Yes, kind of, I know yeah. exactly the one you mean. Yeah. Okay, put him out of his misery. Let's look at the Peter Rabbit. <laughs> yes, exactly. I think this is a drawing that she made. But why is there no card? Nadia That's what's Antibes. confusing me. That is beautiful. Maybe one of these is the card. Oh, it's stickers. Wait, where's the... Oh, oh is that more. It's a stickers. Card there? Stickers. Oh, more stickers. So you get Peter Rabbit, all the characters ah. as stickers. Oh, we have a card. And the... Oh, look at that. My gift, give, give hope, progress. progress and find answers. Dear Stephanie and the Laland family, I found your vlogs during a time in my life when I was struggling with seasonal affective disorder. Mm. Oh, I get that. Yeah. Um, you're not the only one. Having moved to the rainy Seattle area. I'm pretty sure it was your video that led me to look forward to every sunny day we could get here. I'm sending you some prints I made using plants from my own backyard. Thank you for saving my sanity as I had to first go to plants. Also, I recently stumbled upon this book of Victorian stickers, which I thought you might all enjoy. Yes, we do. Also, since I loved seeing all the wonderful and talented mix of friends at Aland, I'm sending you a cookbook for opera lovers, which I think you'll all enjoy using, especially during your workshops, which we can hear in the background sometimes. Oh, very much so. I hope to visit someday with my teenage daughter, who could use some more practice with her French. The Peter Rabbit... <laughs> The Peter Rabbit sticker book is for, you guessed Who's it. it for? Who's it for? Who's it for? Michael Petherick. <laughs> Spotted that as soon as it came out of the box. Here it is. Lots of love, Nadia Lewis. P.S. This card is also some mix with media art that I've been dabbling in. Nadia, I love everything that you have sent. Have you seen the others? No, I only saw one of the prints. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely lovely. So oh. they are print the flowers from my garden? Yeah. They've come out so beautifully. I love the colour of blue. It's really beautiful. What a good idea. Beautiful. I wonder how beautiful. they created. I don't know. Oh, they're wonderful. <gasps> I'm that one. I think that one's my favourite. It's so delicate. I love it. Oh, me too. I really think they're beautiful. And thank you for the books. Yeah. It's Nadia, so sweet. I love them. These look quite exciting. And they've got my name on they've them. They've all got your name on. What are they? Hmm. That's a teacup. I remember these. That's a teacup. These are saucers. Oh, we have a saucer. Oh, 
we all receive teacups and saucers? My gorgeous Nick and Marie received some, Mummy and Percy, everyone in the house. And they were all vintage so and all different. Oh, all right. Well, each person got a different yeah. set. So, so I have these, no idea so you've what had yours, like. so let's yes. have a look, see if they um, see what pattern they are. Oh, wow. <gasps> Oh, that Royal Crown Derby here in China. They're stunning. Mandarin pattern. Oh, my word. I love the trellis and the really delicate touches of gold. I have to say that it matches what you're wearing. Oh, yeah. That looks yeah. so elegant. It says, Michael Prefrick, this should complement your boost collection to bring a lighter colour. Ah, oh, a lovely idea, actually. From Luz Marie. Who's Luz Marie? Luz Marie? Luz Marie is a lovely woman who sent us all beautiful teacups. And actually they were all trio, so you've probably got the plates in there as well. Do you mm. think? I think so. Oh, I hope yes. so. We've had. They're really beautiful, actually. Really, really nice. Yes. Crown Derby, is that a...? They're beautiful. Yeah? Absolutely stunning. I don't have any of that. I went to Crown Derby when I was in Stoke-on-Trent. Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's from the Potteries then. Yes, and Crown Derby makes wonderful little figurines as well but they they make so much spectacular porcelain they have really long history they're in very good condition as well look at the gilding is absolutely perfect pristine it's perfect you know you find like they've been used mm. people washing them up yeah the gilding and dishwashers comes off over the time mm. but they, they look, look brand new <gasps> i wow. really love this yeah. set <laughs> i didn't know it i hadn't seen it before oh they are it's quite masculine although delicately so it is I really nice. Yeah. I mean, there's not much masculine about a teacup and saucer, but <laughs> as teacups and as saucers teacups go. And saucers go. Yes. But that's not all. I believe there may be a couple of plates in here too. I love it. Something to put the Me scone too. on. Or brioche. Or brioche, yes, or brioche. <gasps> oh, they're oh, beautiful. Oh. oh, it's just so nice. Okay, shall we see it Dark on it? China. Well, that's the thing of you beauty. You got it, you got, got it, you got, got it. I've got yeah. it. That's perfect. That is a thing of beauty. Oh, my word. You lucky thing. I know, people are so kind. Thank you. Now you can make yourself a cup of tea wearing that jacket, sitting on that sofa, flanked by the Fortuny yes, cushions. I'm, I may even cross a leg. <laughs> <laughs> that is, it's Pop another beautiful. finger out. We've got one more. The wrap, really nice. I mean, look at that. Mm. Folded beautifully. They've arrived in perfect condition. And that's, yes, I'm glad because sometimes China doesn't arrive in one piece. Yeah. Well, not when you buy it from eBay, oh. but yes. Look at that. Wow. Stunning. So beautiful. Can I put them over there for you? Yes. Can I put them next to your bed? Yes, that'd be lovely. Thank you, Stephanie. So I've got a kettle and I've got some tea bags. Here. Oh. You're persuading him to leave them here. Yes, one for me and one for my <laughs> shadow. <laughs> you can invite us on any time. Any time. <laughs> I will sign up. Can we just do another present for Michael Pastor? Yeah, why not? I'm quite excited about this one. I oh, remember I remember. It's smelling really nice. Yes. Oh, that looks nice. Mm -hmm. I thought you'd love this. Cuban tobacco and oak. I already like it. Mm. By the, I know. Um, I, this is exactly I love the, the smell of tobacco like. and oak. I'm obsessed with oak. Oh, oh. Nice. Just, just. But before I take it out, just give that a sniff, Steph. Get your nostrils around that. It's, it's calm, isn't it? It's In calm. It smells like a wonderful man. <laughs> it smells a little bit like aftershave. Five nine two. Yeah, Carol exactly. That's company. what I mean. It smells Scotland. Like Oh, yeah, so the 592 Candle Company have sent us several candles. They've all been great. I, I love this scent. Our candles are all hand poured from our home in the west of Scotland. Our products are made with vegan friendly soy wax and therefore clean burning, meaning no black smoke marks. We only use the finest quality oils to produce the most natural mm. scents. Any of these are the perfect gift for a special occasion or just to treat yourself. So thank you very much, 592 Candle Company in Scotland. Um, I really you. like that smell. That's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to put this next to your bed as well. So this next is to the Cuban. Oh, you know what? You would, and tobacco. You wouldn't even need to light that because the smell and is the scent, so strong. It's already so scenting strong. the room, but I'm putting it here 
because I can see your night. It's a wild night. You'll have not one but two cups of tea and light a candle. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have uh, tea in one and whiskey in the other. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, mm, perfect. That's a good too. idea, Stephanie Jarvis. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you very much, Philip. Not just a pretty face, an epic table layer. <laughs> Good. But excellent <laughs> gift passer. <laughs> I can add that to my CV. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is amazing. The card is written like, on on the wrapping. That's very good. Ingenious. Dear Stephanie, many thanks for introducing me to a book I never knew existed. I hope you don't already own the enclosed or it's to archive a format. Kind regards, Andy. What is this? A book or a DVD? I think it's a DVD. Ooh, 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 ooh. I do not own this. I own the book, but not this. Francesco's Venice. Oh. And a friend of mine had this DVD and we took it to Venice with us and watched the first episode. And because of that, I went to the other islands around Venice, Murano, Burano, and the island where the Venetians first settled. And all because of, of this series. This is amazing. I'm, I'm going to watch this. So you can watch the other episodes now. Yes. Yes. Th this is glorious. You've no idea how happy you've made me with this. And now I think, yes, well, we've got, got the teacups over there, candle, bit of Venice, and Fortuny cushions. I'm sensing an evening coming together. Yeah, I don't have a DVD player. Yes. Definitely have one in your room. Definitely have a DVD player. So we'll bring, I'll bring the candle and the key teacups to your room. Thank you very much. Oh, I have the DVD player. Unless you have Philip, like... do you want to join for a little Venetian evening? Sure. Unless Excellent. you have like, a, you know, one of those like you have at school, like a TV with a DVD player on wheels that you wheel from classroom to classroom. I used to have that. Exciting really? As a child. Only it wasn't VCR, a DVD yeah. but it was VCR. Yeah. We had the same. We had Did you? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> You don't even know what Betamax is. No. We called it Betamax. Was it eight millimeter film? Uh, it was launched at the same time as VHS, but VHS sort of took over and mm. it became obsolete. Thank you very, very much. I'm definitely going to watch this. Uh, so, so what's next, Stephanie? I can see something in your hand. Yes, and this is something really, really, very nice. I have been so looking forward to opening this because I loved this when it arrived. I saw it when it arrived. We peeked at it, <laughs> and I knew that you would go crazy for it. Stephanie and Michael Pethwick from Bridget in Sweden. She made this for you. It's for you. It's embroidered on linen. I know. You have to open it. it it's jaw dropping. But there's a lot of work in this. Oh yes. Yeah. People can't just send me things like this. <laughs> This is a piece of, this is a work of art. It is a work of art. Okay. Oh, there's a note. Before we do anything, we've got to read the note. I think it's just uh, a I think... Oh, Natty, no, that was the note. I yes, just read it. <laughs> Natty put it there so that you would okay. know who it was from. But we read everything when it arrived. It's crazy. Do not put it anywhere near the chilli sauce. I love the little bunnies. Oh. It's a poem about a ghost that I read out to everybody when we first open it. And it's really beautiful. The last sentence I, I really loved. Um, I don't drink your wine, though. I mean, every sip you take. That brightens your day. I mean, every sip you take that brightens your day. It's absolutely beautiful. It's for the ghost's love. And this is look at this flowers, flowers and roses. And the M. Oh, it's stunning. We've got fleur de lis and, um, and this little cherry, uh, oh, cherry yes. tree with blossom and birds. Yes. I love the, the bunnies best. Um, Where are the bunnies? Uh, this is both I take no place at your table. No. In white. Um, where? This is both I take no place at your table in white. Take no place at... Oh, I couldn't see oh. the, the light was on. How did you notice the bunnies, Philip? You okay. see, he's got an eye for bunnies. He'll spot them anywhere. <laughs> And there's another one uh, at the, underneath the last sentence. There it is. There is a little white bunny. The white rabbit. It's quite sweet, right? It's a white mm, rabbit. Follow the white rabbit. Yes. Symbolic. Now that is beautiful. That's going to have to be framed. Yes, it has yeah. to be. That's going to go in the cottage. Yes. On the wall. Do you know, I've actually, um, in Beatrix Potter's cottage, there is something so similar to that. It was actually um, embroidered by a young girl as a gift to her. Mm. And she, it's, what she, it's on her wall. It's very similar. But hers is... More like an alphabet. No, no, maybe it is a poem. Yeah, it is a poem. Mm. Stunning. Yeah, our, our jaws just dropped when yeah. we saw it. That's a lot of work in that too. Mm. It's really made with love. Mm. It really is made with love. 
I'm not worthy of that. I'm so thankful. Of course you are. It's absolutely stunning. Thank you so much. I'm going to treasure that. And that was going to live in the gardener's cottage. I'm going to have it framed, mounted. That sofa's becoming really quite marvellous. It's beautiful, isn't it? But no rest for you. No, no. Another no gift. Oh, what's this? <laughs> I think this is uh, right around Christmas time. Mm. So you have a woolly hat, which is so nice. Is this for me? Yes. My washi, self-made. There we go. Oh my goodness, you're, you're matching. matching. You're like twins. Can you now, Philip? <laughs> Can you tell the difference? <laughs> no, no, I have no idea mm. who's who. It's impossible to tell you apart. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you just brushing your hair out of the way? <laughs> I've never seen me do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's enjoying himself that. now. <laughs> do you want to be Michael for a while, Philip? Yeah. I love that. Thank you very much. And some um, Merci Petit uh, chocolate collection. Ooh. Little thank yous. Oh, yes. Would you like a little thank you? Yes, I would like it. Now. Thank you. Thank you. This one's from Francisca in Germany. Mm. Thank you, Francisca. I really like this. Oh, it's sweetie. I can't look at this sweetie. It'd be silly not to try them. Mm. What would you like? Oh, what are the flavours? Dark milk. I'm going to have the purple one, actually. Purple? I've gone for brown. Barley and cream. cream. I've gone for oh. dark milk. Mmm. 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 Mm. <laughs> I'm handing you two because they're quite small. Oh. Well, one Thank is you. very small. I get two. Two, Michael. Two. <laughs> Happy New Year and best wishes in 2021 with love from the little birdies at Woodbridge Bird House. <gasps> Woodbridge, sorry, I always read Woodbridge and I did this last time you sent gifts because I grew up near Woodbridge. So I'm used to I thinking I see song. that. Oh, look, they're sort of peacock inspired. I'm not wearing any oh, at the moment, am I? <gasps> I think they're so pretty. I'm going to put them on straight away. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, I want to see them on. Okay. They match your eyes, actually. Yeah. It really brings out the blue in your eyes. Because you've got those blue spots on either either side of the earring. Your jacket's bringing out your eyes as well. Is it? Yes. Oh, and Philip's entire blue outfit's bringing out his eyes. <laughs> they we all a... go for blue? Yeah. Well, well, well I didn't. Not really no, blue, I didn't blue, until but... until now. I think they're beautiful. Thank you so much. Woodridge. Woodridge Birdhouse. Woodridge. Yes. Yes. This one. From Indiana in the US. Ooh. Oh, it's a nativity twirl. Oh. No. Imagine if we'd had this for our blue and white Christmas. Oh, wow. It's really a nativity twirl. I think there's a letter. I've never seen it. one. Okay, let's read this first. I'm dying to look at it. Hello from Indiana. When I was setting up my Christmas decorations, I found this in my stash of linens, which I use as backdrops for my collection of nativities. I realized I've never used it and it really should go to someone who will. Daisy Kingdom is a fabric craft maker, which formerly conveyed printed fabrics with borders, swags, imitation embroidery, and cute children's themes. I found this nativity at some point in the 1990s before the company went bankrupt and snapped it up because it was so unusual. I thought it would make a nice backdrop, but I prefer simpler ones like those shown below. Look at the origami nativity. Oh, wow. I've That's never lovely. seen it. No, I saw it. I didn't realize one. they were origami. I thought yeah. they were real figures. Origami. That is so brilliant. It's really clever. Oh, there's more. You have so many nativity figures. Are they all origami? No, they no, they're all different. Oh, these look like glass. stained glass. Stained yes. glass. Wow. Yeah, they are like stained glass because the, the the lead around the around the glass. And it was really sad that you weren't with us at Christmas. It was really sad, wasn't it, fellow? Yeah. I mean, we we did. We did enjoy doing the advent calendars a lot, Very but much. we wanted you with us. Had to I'll be try sad. and be here for this Christmas. Yay! Because we've got a lot of plans, haven't we? No, because it's been two, two, two Christmases in a row that I'd stayed at home. So you can be here this Christmas. I can be here this Christmas, yeah. Nice. Sorry, family. 
We, we <laughs> sit down, first. the three of us here, and we a little chat because Philip and I have been brainstorming a few good ideas mm -hmm. for Christmas decorations because we like to launch at least one night new theme mm -hmm. every year. So I think it's going to be pretty good. And what you missed last year was the new nativity set. And there were actually two. I bought one. I didn't know whether I would go for the little Provencal figures, mm -hmm. which I grew up with because my grandmother had them, like mm -hmm. tiny little clay ones where you have the whole village, mm -hmm. or whether I would go for larger figures to fill a big crash. And that's mm -hmm. what I went for in the end. So I bought them from Naples, where mm -hmm. they're really famous for them. And then somebody else, a patron of the Chateau Diaries, to celebrate us getting to 100,000 subscribers, mm -hmm brought the whole other set. Like no. the same, yeah. Is that and, the one that was delivered? Um, no, and then there was one that was delivered, which Philip and I fell in love with on eBay, which went all the way down the centre of the table on Christmas Day, yeah. a white one. So in the end, we ended up with three new nativity sets in one year. <laughs> oh, there's, the letter carries on. Incidentally, I have for years used a hanging Christmas tree made from a grape vine wreath. Someone, Marie, may wish to try making one for La Lande next year. It's really nice for an area where floor space is lacking. Our tree is vines fastened to wire, fashioned into a spiral, which is fixed by fishing line guy wires. Lights and beaded garlands are left on and the whole thing collapses into a half metre cone for storage. The large spaces between layers of the spiral allow for nice showcasing of decorative elements. With best wishes and thanks for your efforts to provide cheerful and hopeful stories for everyone during 2020, Lisa. Look, look at that spiral tree. It's a really good idea. That is really a really good idea. Yeah. It looks lovely. I like it. Imagine that in a corner of a room. There's something look almost sort of Victorian about that. Yeah, there is. There they, is. They're like that and old Victorian hangs. Christmas tree. It hangs from the roof. But it rather hangs, than going so you don't up. have to have it. Yeah. The whole thing's hanging down. That's a really good idea, actually. Now, we're going to look at the toile. Um, this is a really good moment with my two co-hosts of the advent calendar here. <laughs> Couldn't have come at a better time. I'm going to hold the other oh, side for that me. that is lovely. Nativity Daisy Kingdom, toile. 1661, Christmas. Nativity toile. Look, look, there Brings... are the kings coming. There's the shepherds in the field. The There's angel. the angels coming down to the shepherds, and there. There's little baby Jesus. Where's the lowly cattle? Lowly cattle's lowing. Uh, you can just see a bottom shot of the lowly cattle. Yeah. He's just hot. Oh, there he's fair. I didn't know that he was behind the thing. <laughs> no, his head got in as well. Oh, he's popped through, yeah. Yeah. I don't know where the ass is, though. I think what you're pointing at is actually the ass, and behind him is the... Oh, there. Cow. Kettle, whatever. They look like Ox. cows to me. Ox, maybe. Maybe they're nestling there. No, that's not a cow. That is the ass. There. Where's the lowly cattle? Or maybe that's the... his head behind. Oh, no. That, what's this here? That's the ass or a goat. That's a goat. That's a goat. These are mm. sheep. That's the... I've got the ox next to the... the I love it. I really love it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, we'll definitely be using this at Christmas. <laughs> you do We Three Kings. Yeah. I love it. Thank you, Lisa. This is stunning and is definitely going to be used this Christmas. Now, your personal copy of Aloysius the Ram arrived. Aloysius the Ram at Chateau de la Lande. And if you open it, I think you'll find it's been signed by Joe Rothwell. It's by Joe Rothwell and illustrated by Bryce Rothwell. The illustrations, her husband. The illustrations are fantastic. They are superb. Do you know what? I have actually seen a, a different version of this. An older version that was maybe more of a like a, a mock up or yes, and it well, had and it, it was more as in it was more photographs mm. or uh, it yes. wasn't as illustrated before. Have the, have well, the open this. It, honestly, you'll be blown away. Because Ernest has got one of these, I think. Oh, no, I, nice. nice. <laughs> I think Ernest has got one of these, but Good. it's a different version. Can I just say before I open the page, Flappy Bird, <laughs> <laughs> Flappy Bird, illustrated Flappy Bird. And Aloysius, we're wearing a crown and looks like probably want some Stephanie's clothes or something. And a, well, and a, you won't be and pleased a spode when teapot. you see what he's done for the spode. <laughs> you will not be pleased at all. Well, I'm not pleased with Aloysius on most days, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen him for a while. Dear Michael, at last the finished version. Ah, because I saw the other yes. version. Best wishes from Joe Rothwell. 
Look at Aloysius. He's so <laughs> sweet. Look at... Oh, you say that now. He's a very naughty ram, though. Yes, and I can is. tell you that from experience. <laughs> Aloysius wishes the ram decided today were a glorious day to run off for a play. His plan was quite simple. To achieve his escape, he charged the entrance and shattered the gate. <laughs> Actually. You've got to go to the page where he's messed up the kitchen. Yes. You'll love it. No! Yes. In the chateau, he darted and dashed, curtains went flying and porcelain crashed. Bundles of baguettes and batches of brie were blended right into a big pot of tea. No, and he smashed all the spode! He smashed the spode. Oh, no! He has. Oh, what a... No and look at the cheeky peacock, like <laughs> Thor poking his head through the window. This is brilliant. Yeah, it's really brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Costume cupboard. The costume. He's broken the costume cupboard. He's wearing Stephanie's crown. He's yeah. upset Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird's got the right. And on Flappy Bird is usually rather unflappable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he's uh he's um well he's made a right mess of the fountain. <laughs> oh no, he's destroyed the garden. He's still got that teapot though. Yeah, hello, he's like you. And Flappy Bird. Never let go of the teapot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's destroyed the art studio. Um he seems to have upset Thor by the looks of it. Yeah, well, well Thor, Thor seemed to seduce him. Thor, no, Thor is calling Scott oh, Man. Oh, he's raised oh. the alarm. Yeah. He's raised the alarm. Scott Man's <laughs> here. As quick as a flash from the chateau's right wing, a hero appeared with a bright tartan grin. Aloysius, he hollered. You're making me cross. I'm Scotsman the Brave, and I'll show you who's boss. So you know what's happened to Scott Man? I just found out today. What? He's in hospital. Oh, he's no. broken his kneecap. Oh, he's broken his kneecap. Yeah, horrible. Sounds awful. Yeah, so he's rushed into hospital today and he's waiting to be operated on. He's in good spirits, but he was pretty high on morphine when I spoke to him. Well, that will mm. put your spirits high, yeah, actually. Yeah, it packed had, him right <laughs> up. I had morphine once when I got bitten by a dog. And I tell you, I never laughed so much in my life. <laughs> <laughs> As they were carrying me out of the house on a stretcher. <laughs> Yes, it was hilarious. <laughs> he was like that today, but Scott Man needs to get better soon. Otherwise, Aloysius will take the opportunity to run rampant around the chateau. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at the trail of devastation. And mayhem abated, he slowed and then paused and proudly assessed all the mess he had caused. Oh, I'm in the book! Yes, you're I'm in, in the, the book. book! You didn't know, did you? Well, at least you got a good photo of me. <laughs> It's great, isn't it? It is absolutely fantastic. I just love this. Is this book on for sale? Yeah, it's yes. for sale. You can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it on Amazon? Yes. Please, everyone buy this book because this is fantastic. It's well, actually, all the profits from it also go for helping children with brain cancer. Because she has okay. brain cancer herself, doesn't she? Yes, yes. Jo Rothwell has been very sick and, uh, yeah, is, is doing this to help others, which is just extraordinary. Go onto Amazon and buy this book. <laughs> how much is it? it can't I be a lot. don't know how much it is it on Amazon. It can't be a lot. So just go and... It's, it's for a good cause... Go and buy this book. And it's hilarious. It's and so beautiful. funny. And the illustrations are some of the best I've seen. <laughs> Beatrix Potter would be proud. <laughs> so, yeah, fantastic. Thank you for my signed copy. We have to open our last gift now. We couldn't decide who was going to open it, Michael or me. So we're having one each. Really? Yes. We're going to open them simultaneously. Well, I've got a feeling. Yeah, I think I've got a feeling as well. Sure, I'm feeling. not sure what this is. Could it's be. a plate. It's <laughs> definitely a plate. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't want to spoil the surprise. It's a nice bag. Oh. Oh, what's that? Trying to look through the bubble wrap. Oh, I remember this one. Michael Prefrick, I saw the green here and thought of your new kitchen. Use it and enjoy or pass along, Rebecca. Well, I should definitely use it. I didn't want to pass this. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's a cottage. It's a little, well, it's a little thatched village. With a little church spire in the background, and love it. Was it really similar green? So I'm going to paint the kitchen actually. Oh, I can go in your by? kitchen. Ascot service plate by Wooden Sons England, Alpine White Ironstone. Yes, and we received something very similar. It's not actually correctly. a dinner plate. It's not yeah. a dinner plate. It's a decorative plate. Yeah, so it's the sort of thing that you, you would hang or put on a dresser or something. If I remember correctly, Rebecca sent us the a stack plate she made. Oh, the, the tiered plate with the little the little exactly. stem. That's what I mean. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much, Rebecca. That's really lovely. I'm going to read my card now. Dear Stephanie and Michael, I painted a pair of the Sandhill Cranes who visit me every winter. Oh. I thought they would enjoy living in France. 
I'm not a fantastic painter, so I hope these can have a home in Lalande and the gardener's cottage, even if in the back of a closet. <laughs> Florida is rich in wildlife, but these two visit and will pose for photos in exchange for corn, which I keep specially for them. Thanks for making the last year bearable, and I look forward to your many renovations and ventures. With much love, Deb Shaw. So we've got, I've got a crane each. One we each? Have, we have. Oh. Oh, so they're cute. all fantastic. They're all fantastic. Oh, look, the little friends. Oh, they're lovely. Well, you'll have one and I'll have one, then occasionally we'll have to sort of get them but which together. Which one's for which? I don't know if it says. This is the male, and that's the female. So do you want the male for the male, or do you think I should have the male? You said the male, I should have the female. Yes, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're just lovely. I like them so much with their little red heads. So this is Stephanie, and this is Michael. Michael. <laughs> I'm going to keep Michael safe. I'm going to frame Michael. Yeah, I'm going to frame Stephanie. Uh, and then we also have to get together for our embroidery. You know the stunning embroidery where I have three people and you have yeah, three Mine people. is on my bedroom wall, actually, at home. Uh, ours is downstairs in the Petit Salon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so Mine's gorgeous. above my desk at the minute. I love it. Yeah. Deb, these are beautiful. And thank you, everyone, because we've been spoilt rotten, haven't we? We have, yes. We don't spoiled deserve it. rotten. It's a pity Natty and Selma couldn't be with us. Um, I'm not sure that Natty will be back in time for next week. Selma should be, mm -hmm. but... I'll cat will be. <gasps> yeah, and you'll still be here. That was, uh, that was you, she let the cat out of the bag. Oh, the cat was out. <laughs> All um, going well. Cat will be here for next week's cat out. And I'll be here. Uh, and there's a lot more gifts so, yes. for me to open specifically. Yes, yes. So I shall... Um, Natty we'll put a manageable amount aside for today, but there's more. There's much more. So thanks for joining us today on Cat Up the Chateau. We'll see you next week. And remember, all the proceeds from these videos go to charity. So remember to watch the adverts because it really helps. Thank you so <laughs> much. See you next week.